What is going on everybody, Ever Air Gaming Gear, another exciting episode with more Fire Emblem Warrior Free Hopes on the Nintendo Switch and welcome to it! So, last time, cause um, we have uh, took on the um, the Southern Death Knell territory the other day and um, it, this is uh, only for quest restrictions just so that we can uh, bring out the, the female to go to battle. So, we've been, uh, so last time because uh, we've been playing by uh, female Fire Emblem characters so we're not using that as, uh, as male, just only the female. So that's how we taken care of because uh, somehow we just uh, like took out at least all different types of enemies, territory, and every bases. And to be honest, uh, we have been uh, stepping to the progress just to go ahead and take on this uh, last side quest. Or actually, hold on. So I'm thinking I'm, I'm seeing two spots. There are only two red spots that need to be cleared. So let's just go ahead and take a break from it. So we're going to move out of the war map. So before we uh, set out on our next uh, side quest. So uh, we, we want to make sure that we're, we're well prepared and we want to be sure that uh, we have everything we need before the battle. So without further ado, uh, let's go out exploring and let's uh, go ahead and chat with the uh, supply master. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Okay, so we can start collecting some supplies. So uh, let's see what we got. So we're going to we'll go in and uh, receive all the material we need. So we can uh, expand the facility if we have to. So let's see, now, we may have enough uh, material for for the storage badge. The storage bag, I said badge, what the heck. <laughs> okay, so um, let's go ahead and increase that effect. Okay, so it says, uh, expanded your camp supply line and stockpile materials, slightly increasing the type of tradable items. Okay, so it seems to me because we don't have that much of material to spare. So, let's see, so we can trade Smith and Stones. I mean, sure, why not? Let's just trade one for this uh, blast sand steel. So, what? So, how much is it, is it worth? Five? Well, at least we trade at least five of them. So, uh, that's. That seems about right. Okay, but we have more than two. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put some B. So, uh, Raphael right wants to go on an expedition, so be it. Now, let's just go ahead and check it with our man, Raphael. So, we'll go chat in with uh, Raphael and see what's on his mind. Dashing around is my thing. Oh, hold on. So, I want the uh, auto events off. So, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna corner the enemy so they can't escape it and then smash them. Mm. But they're gonna do whatever they can to get away. So, it'll be a challenge to round them all out. I'm a big and burly type, but you know, dashing around is my strong suit. Mm. Oh, but the uh, lawyers and dads are going to be uh, roughing them up but too, right? Uh, that'll be a huge help. Okay, so let's go ahead and give Raphael some gift. So let's start off with um, the one that's called the Tasty Bacon Treat, which is a, a bacon confession made by the, the missing fruit into dough. Okay, appreciate it by Rosa with a sweet tooth. Um, okay, so for the life stage here, pure protein muscle training is a baby sister. And the dislike is a uh, book learning the unfinished meals. Okay, well I'm not sh I'm not sure if Raphael's gonna like that. I mean, let's see, let let's find out. This is for me. It's so nice. Okay, well I'm pretty sure he's he's loving it. All right. So let's go ahead and press B and let's go on an expedition. So we're going to expedition with Raphael. You were waiting for me? Sorry about that. Okay, let's uh, head to the plains. So we're gonna get more conversation with uh, Raphael. So Ali will start off with the other uh, questions and then talk to him. Alright, so we arrived, so let's have a word. There's really nothing here, huh? I mean, there's some grass, but I doubt it'll taste good. I mean, I'm sure the grass isn't that half bad. So the uh, harmonious atmosphere that the planes are engulfed for you. But the so-called peaceful moments of your life appeal in a comparison to the tranquility you feel now. I see. So, uh, can we send a song or complain that you're hungry? Um, let's uh, just send a song, I guess. Uh, what, so what song are we about to sing? Hey, there's nothing else to do out here. I'll start. 
Okay, well, he's going to start sending. Well, that's that's all right. Well, we don't actually hear what Raphael is going to send about. Okay, well, he doesn't want to send along. Well, let's just go ask a question. So, what kind of question can we can we talk? Can we say? I mean, uh, let's ask about the dream for the future. That may seem like a good question. I've got some stuff I want to do. Sure, but I'm mostly good as long as my family and friends are happy. Okay, so we can smile, be silent, or express our admiration. Okay, well, let's express that, I hope. Thanks. Okay, well, that's not the one. So, let's have a talk. Big cities aren't the only places with great food. Those ends along Merchant Road serve up some pretty tasty grub. Oh, that's good stuff, man. All right. So, let's see. Which answer is it? Worry about those of business. Okay, so that can't be the right fit. So as it is the other food is of their main draw. Um we figured we could say that. Okay, that was the right answer. Alright. So let's do the last talk. My little sis will be fine without me. As long as she's got our grandpa, he's real strong. Yeah, I remember that um that used to be Hilda's brother. So uh, let's see, remind Raphael that, that he's strong too, or say old age is still a concern, or say she must have still miss him. Okay, so we have to remind him that he's strong too. He's strong too. Nah, I don't, I don't think that is, that is the right answer we're going to pick for this question. So, I uh, say old age is still a concern. I don't know, I mean, this, this had to be the one on, on top of it, can it? Okay, that, that can't be it. Well, it, it was a fair guess, but uh, I tried to defend my side of the boss of which, uh, which conversation it is. Well, see you later then. Well, which answer, I mean. But uh, that's alright, well, we, we got one right and two wrong. Well, I just can't tell which answer is right, but um, that's alright. So, we can... We can go on ahead and check in with the support info. So we're getting here is some some new conversation going on here. So we got something that's coming from Sheds. So we got Sheds and Raphael. So let's uh, t let's see how these two talk. And we go and have a listen. Hey, how's it going? You been getting enough food? Definitely. I'm eating way better than I was back in my mercenary days. You didn't eat so good, huh? I spent most of my time moving from place to place, so I had to manage on my own. I'd just fling whatever I could get my hands on into a pot. Can't say any of it ever tasted too great. Wow, I'm surprised you could even live like that. And you never stayed at an inn? Sometimes, if one happened to be nearby and I had a little extra money lining my pockets. But I never really felt like the food there was any better. Sounds like you were at all the wrong places then. Nothing fun about a bad meal, I always say. That's why I want my inn to be known far and wide for its delicious food. I was actually hoping to do some cooking out here too, so I could hone my craft. But I don't think it's going so good. You want to know why? Probably because that he's a bit clumsy or probably because that he thinks that everything tastes good. I mean, the, the, the one in the bottom is right, so uh, I suggest that we go and answer that question. Hmm. If I had to guess, it's because you think everything tastes good no matter what. Hey now, I know the difference between regular old grub and the kind of stuff that gets your mouth watering. See, all the meat and fish we've got in the pantry is preserved. When you're not working with the fresh stuff, nothing you make's gonna have people hollering for more. You think? But there are dishes from all over the world that use ingredients that are on the verge of going bad. You sure that isn't because they don't have a choice? I'm no expert, but I've heard it can make a nice cut of meat even more savory, depending on how you prep it. Huh. Maybe we can learn some more if we ask someone who's from one of those places. Not to mention, there are other ways of preserving food, too. 
You mean, besides dumping salt on everything? I'm sure you know about smoking your food, right? Things will keep for even longer if you do that after you cure them. Yeah, but I heard that makes meat all smoky and gross. Kinda defeats the point if you ask me. I think it depends on how you do it, and what kind of wood you use. Apparently, it's really good if you do it right. Wow, you sure know a lot about this stuff. My mercenary days showed me more about the world than I could have ever imagined. I only really remember bits and pieces, though. Come on, don't be so modest. I can't wait to get back in the kitchen with these new ideas you gave me. Hey, speaking of ideas, you want to help me think up some recipes with the stuff we've got here? I'm not so sure me and cooking mix, but yeah, I wouldn't mind giving it a shot. That's the spirit. I know we'll come up with some feast-worthy food if we just put our heads together. Alright, very short competition there. So, uh, we got them a attempt to support level B. Very nice. Okay, so Shaz and Raphael are the only ones that have uh, rank up to support level B. So, uh, that's uh, good to hear. So, we got here if he's the last two characters that, um, that have not gotten their compensation, which is uh, Lysiphia and Marianne. So, uh, let's go ahead and, and select these two. And let's go have a listen again. As I told you before, I do not have a crest. Why do you insist on hiding it? It can only mean your crest is somehow... Please stop! What's going on here? Lysithia! What were you saying about crests? Go on. I study them every day without fail, so this is extremely relevant to my interests. I do hope you have proof of your theory, though. Spewing out unfounded platitudes will just lead to consequences you definitely don't want. I might not look it, but I'm a general in this army. Ah, well, we were just finishing our conversation. Now, if you'll excuse me. Um, thank you, Lysithia. Think nothing of it. I stepped in of my own accord. <sighs> you appear to hold a secret or two regarding crests. Um... Well... No need to answer. We all have things we prefer to keep hidden. <sighs> Still, your situation hits rather close to home for me. Perhaps... Too close. What? So if you ever need assistance, don't hesitate to ask. We secret keepers need to hold strong with each other after all. <clears throat> oh, and I'm not saying this because I pity you. But you clearly find your secret painful. In light of this, maybe I've been... A bit too harsh on you in the past. Oh no, you haven't been harsh at all. I'm merely envious of how strong and level-headed you always appear to be. I never would have guessed you hold a closely guarded secret just as I do. I'm not gonna tell you, if that's what you're after. Yes, I suspected as much. Still, perhaps you would be willing to hear mine one day? I feel like being around you gives me the courage to finally set it free. I would be happy to hear you out, and also to help rectify the situation if possible. I know quite a bit about Crest's scholarship. That fool talking to you earlier couldn't hold a candle to me. Thank you, Lysithia. I already feel a little bit braver. I'm offering you the full might of my assistance. I hope you can do better than a little. Um, I mean a lot. I know I'm going to feel a lot braver. Okay, well I like to, I, I love to hear it. Well, listen to these guys talk. I mean, somehow 
Lasifia La and Marielle are just gonna get quite dirty along. Well, we at least that they they attain that support level C. I mean, that's all they have. So that's um that's a good thing. Well, apparently we want to keep at it because um I'm seeing a little bit of support level B and a little bit of C. Well, actually, Marianne is is, is the only lady with uh with support level C. So that's a uh, that seems about it. So it seems like that we only have one of this uh, strength for each character. So actually, hold on. Now I really think we should go on ahead and check in with the instructor. So let's go ahead and acquire some of these classes. So I'm gonna check it with Claude. But it seems to me because uh, we don't actually have, because somehow we don't have the advanced seal yet. Okay, so we just wanted to keep at it because it felt like that we not done any training for Claude. All right, so let's just check in with Raphael. Okay, well, it seems like that she got, I mean, he got a little bit more way to go. And his class is already unlocked. So, what else can we go and give you? Okay, so you're going to lose one of the moves. You're going to get six. But uh, you know what? Uh, let's go and get the one called the Archer. So, I think Raphael to go with uh, one of his Archer. Okay, so Raphael is the archer now. So we got him on C. Alright, so we can go ahead and change this unit. And go say no. Now let's see, what else can we go and give you? Okay, so now let's go get the brawler. So I really think that... Well, actually, hold on, no. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and scroll down some. So it seems like Ignatz is gonna lose two of his strength, which is gonna go down to 23. So it's going to increase up the defense by 20. So he's gonna lose 19 of his resistance and and 19 of his speed. So let's go ahead and get the the, the armor knight. So it says that with high defense, he's a fight, the spider hole for the front of the lines and adds that as a shield. Okay, you know what? Well, he may look a little bit like a, a Shovel Knight icon. So he has his class of 10. Alright, so we go ahead and change his unit. And we can go on, go on right ahead and check in with uh, Lasifia. So let's see, we can go ahead and, wait a minute, let's switch pages. Okay, so we're, una we're unable to do that. So let's just check it with our Marianne. Let's see if she's good. Okay, so you know what, we should go ahead and upgrade Marianne some more because we, we have not done that. So this may look like a good option. So let's go ahead and give her the one that's called Preach. Okay, so there we have it. So we got Marianne in class that haven't attained. I never pictured this for myself. All right, so let's uh, get a move on. So we have uh, changed that class already. All right, so we're gonna stick to uh, to the to the one that's called the pre. So that's what Marianne is going to stick to doing. Now let's go and press onward and check in with Hulk. Okay, well, it seems like our host got everything under control, so let's go ahead and press on B. So, what? Okay, well, we're just gonna, like I said, uh, for example, we're just gonna keep on saving activity points and not to, to have it go to waste. So, uh, let's go in and move around. So, I really think we should go ahead and check in with. I mean, where can we check at? Oh right, I I remember. So uh, we we need to go to the blacksmith so that we can go ahead and and forge more weapons. So let's see now. Okay, so this is the um, the venom the, the venom edge plus three. Okay, so it's, it's sort of that inflicts a foe with a biting poison. Okay, so let's go and forge that weapon. So we're gonna have that 
to increase the might and increasing the durability. So we, we want that to happen. So let's go ahead and force that weapon. All right, and there we got it. So all we got here is a uh, villain, uh, villain edge plus twelve might and the durability have increased. All right, so we got that check off. But it seems like that we got here is a whole lot of options. So it just seems to me like we can craft as many, many weapons we want. So, so let's check in with Raphael real quick. So he's holding on to the, the Venom Bow plus five. So let's let's keep increasing. Okay, so it seems to me because we don't have enough uh, Venom Stone. Is this it? Okay, so we'll go ahead and get Raphael a little bit stronger with the bow. And it seems like that we don't have enough Venom Stone, so we're, we're gonna have to come back to that that later. So let's see, can we uh, expand any, everything in the facility? Okay, I don't think we can do that yet. So you know what? So it's, it's, it felt like that we're ready to get a move on. So let's uh, go ahead and head our way back to the strategist. And let's begin the, uh, the, the quest. Are you headed to? So going back to the war map. So we got something coming at the Northern Daphnel territory, which is say defend Daphnel. So uh, it's the enemy on level 20, which it says, with her southerner escape a route to cut off an imperial unit to attempt to flee to death nail territory. Find it and deal with it. Okay, so the one we get here is called the Heavy Spear, and we discover one activity point. Alright, so let's go ahead and deploy that area, and let's get up to a step along the progress just to go and defend the, um, the, the enemy's territory alongside their stronghold bases. So we had, so the brawler is route. It's route. So let's go and change some characters. So I really think we should go and have Sheds come back, including Claude. Good to go. All right, and we still got Raphael with us, so we need to level up Raphael some more. Well, actually, you know what? Hold on, let me go and re return back to the map. I really think I should get. Hold on. So Raphael need to be on level twenty. So give me a minute. All right, well here we go. So I already got Raphael on level twenty, so he's he's good to go now. So um, I really think we should go ahead and switch with our team boys. So let's see. Now we got Holst, and he's on level eighteen. So you know what? Well, Holst will be fine. I mean, level eighteen can't be too bad. But uh, no, we have to go and find something higher. So, so you know what? Um, no, no, that's fine. Let's just, let's have Shamir come to the fight. Oh, actually, wait a minute. No, I mean, she's uh, holding the, the the bow like Raphael have. But you know what? We'll, we'll have Leone come in. Or actually, Marianne. Oh, yeah, well, Marianne can uh, can be useful to us. I mean, she has the, uh, the ability to go and heal herself. Because uh, she's a priest now. So we'll go and return with the B and check in. So we look at auto battle. So we're getting here. It's our free defenders. So we got Shaz, Marianne, and Raphael that are defenders, and Claude is the one with the attacker. So let's go over with some. Oh, actually, what what could we go? Oh yeah, convoy. So let's check in with Shaz. Okay, so Shaz looks like he's all ready to go now. So he's all good. Okay, so there's nothing that we can do but change any classic, but yeah, but that is a whole lot of options we're looking at here. So we got a long way to the train up these, these Fire Emblem characters. So let's see now. So we got here, it's a two of the Destricity Reign. So we can give one to Shez. So that goes slightly increases the uh, Destricity. That can uh, build up a lot more power to it. So it looked to me like we're starting to, to to get ready for the next battle. So let's go ahead and press onward, and also let's uh, go over with armor status real quick. Okay, so we got the one with, which is called Rocky Burdock. Let's say the stiff uh, 
medical root of that is uh, quite difficult to eat or permanently increase his strength by two. Okay, you know what? We should go ahead and give one to, to somebody. So, you know what? But I reckon that we increase up Marianne's strength some more, so... So we have to keep going. So yeah, so she's gonna get more by 15. So we gotta keep at it, because we gotta get Marianne a lot stronger. Okay, and you know what? Um, yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and use the one that's called the Premium Magic Herb. So it says a collection of especially pure magical herb. Permanently increases magic by two. Okay, well we only got one for each, so let's go ahead and give one to Marianne. So that's the only way she's gonna build up more magic just to increase. So let's go over again. So it looked to me like uh, everybody is uh, good to go now. So we can start this next fight. The fight starts now. Of course it does. Stay it just safe. finally begun. Life is the only thing we can't replace. Yeah, I'll give it everything I've got. Okay, so we got a soldier we need to worry about. So we got a new mission started. So we have to defeat the assassin squadron. Okay, so where is the, the Assassin Squadron right now? So, um, I don't actually see it in this map, but um, I'm just gonna have to keep an, uh, a close eye out for it. So, how about Marianne go and take out the, the, the Archer? Is this okay? Alright, All and what else do we got here? So, where the heck is the, the Assassin Squadron that the Ejector is talking about? Okay, so that's a soldier at the at the west, uh, at the east. I'm sorry. No, that's a soldier. Okay, well, no clue where where exactly the the, the assassin squadron is. Now we'll we'll try to stay focused on taking down these two guys on top. I think. So Raphael can go ahead and move top, and Claude, you will go on top and take out the the, the Myrmidon. Let's see how this goes. All right, so we all have our assignments, so uh, let's uh, do our best. All right, so this soldier is uh, a little bit more powerful. Okay, so let's keep breaking the shield. Okay, so. Claude did took the first strike at the uh, the first of Ballista. Oh wait a minute, it's here. Okay, so I don't actually quite see what I'm talking at. So you know what? I'm gonna go use Rev Strike. And very the mercenary, we need we need to go clear out. So we're building up more of this uh this twister of magic. Because so it seemed like to me we paid pay too close attention to the uh, bottom left. So it's a felt like that Shad can go ahead and build up two of his specials, which is quite interesting. So that's something I look forward to, to seeing what two of these specials can go do. All right, so we, we can save up but only one and not go wasting any. But it, it felt like that we had to go and save up one of our specials and then go use it. Because it's something like uh, when you play Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Like, uh, it's easier if one of your characters have like two of their specials or more about the four of their specials or or less than three. I mean, that's all they can take on. Okay, so that's one of the Cavalier I, I did took out. Okay, that's that's one of the Assassin's Squad one that we that we took out. Okay, so this team is not doing too bad. So Claude is uh, putting up a warp bear, and Marianne, Please, you will focus on taking out the archer at the bottom. Is this okay? All right, and I can go ahead and make my move down to the south to to take out another of this uh of this elite. So it's the one that's named the Stronghold Captain. So whatever captain you are, whatever weapon you're holding on to, that's one uh, fancy sword you got there. Okay, so we, we keep going with Wrath Strike.
All right, well, let's keep at it. So we're gonna keep our slash with our sword of ours. Well, I'm not quite sure what kind of flash move you're gonna go, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna put a stop to you. Okay, well, you're good at blocking, I can see. So let's keep going with Rap Strike. And let's uh, keep taking it out. Alright, so we, we have this opportunity to go ahead and slash all of the men. So let's pick up more materials and move on. So we got here, it's a couple more of these uh, pot we can smash and get all of this gold. Okay, let's just see what these guys are doing. Okay, so it seems like these two are finished on clearing this area. So, whatever Claude and Raphael are going. So, I want Raphael to go take out the one that is uh, named Soldier. And for Raphael, I want, I'm going to let you make a move. So, I want you to go and take out the Soldier at the bottom. Well, I'm pretty sure your muscle can go and put in good use. I'm pretty sure of it. I mean, trust me, I mean, that's a lot we can uh, fully experience because uh, we had to keep our uh, Raphael in full training. Okay, and of course, Shad will go all the way up top to the north to take out the, the Myrmidon. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with different characters. Okay, so another Assassin Squadron up here is advancing on the, uh, the Brawler. What? Okay, well this is bad, so you know what? Okay, defeat the bandits attacking via the fortress main gates. Okay, we're on it. So, I need to find out what Claude is doing. So actually, Claude, why don't you go take out the, the, the bandit on top? And for Marianne... Oh, okay, so Marianne is, is on top. So, we want to make sure all of these bandits be taught a painful lesson. So, let's have... Shads come back down. So we'll get the top last. Well, first and first, we want to stay focused on the mission because um, our mission is to clear out all of these uh, bandits from attacking the fortress main gates. So uh, let's go ahead and return with the B and go ahead and surround this area and see what's what's good around here. Did I meet your expectations? Okay, so with with Raphael bow and arrow. So somehow, see, he can be like a, her sister sometimes when uh, she held the, uh, the bow and arrow. But somehow, because uh, his uh, bow and arrow can uh, increase a lot stronger. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take out the soldier. Why not? So uh, you guys are putting a stop to all of this. So, so you know what? Let me uh, go ahead and let's go ahead and have Raphael take out the soldier. And I can go ahead and take out the bandit. So I want to make sure that we don't go and fail the mission. Okay, because it felt like that Claude looked so badass with this uh, formal type weapon. Because somehow he, he like held on to some, some enchantment. Which is made out of soul. But the, it felt like a, a good fit of the weapon trip for Claude to go use. Alright, so I'm gonna go and back up my partner Shaz. Okay, so this bandit is not half done yet, so. Okay, so let's go and keep building up my power. Okay, so Marianne is in trouble, so uh, let me go ahead and zoom this. I mean, Marianne could be fine, like, uh, I remember because uh, she had the ability to go heal herself. Now, it felt like uh, Raphael is taking his, his time on this. Okay, so Shaz, I'm gonna let you get a move on. So I want you to go take out the, take out one of these Cavaliers on your own. While I go ahead and secure this area. Okay, so we, we defeat all the bandits. That's already cleared. Alright, so no mans are dying tonight. So uh, let's uh, check in with this uh, pot. So we're just uh, like breaking the pot and we get all this money. So this base captain seemed like an easy target to kill. 
Okay, so Raphael defeat the soldier, so let's have Raphael go and get a move on. Okay, and for Claude, uh, I'm gonna let you get a move on while I go switch more characters. So I'm gonna check in with uh, with Marianne's skills. Okay, damn, that's a lot. That's a lot. Hold on, you gotta heal. Okay, so Shad is taking damage. So Shad, you gotta heal, bro. You got to heal. All right, so now we can go ahead and build up more of these uh, spirit of magic of light. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, check in with this area. So there's this uh, yellow pot that we can break, so we'll increase up a little bit of our gauge. Now let's uh, check in with this area. So I gotta go ahead and, and uh, back up some support. So it's a scene like that we got here. It's a, a whole bunch of its army going on here. All right, well, let's keep at it. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, so let it rain. Let it rain magic. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm ready to go do this. Okay, um, Marianne, there's no need for apologies, girl. There's no need for apologies. You're doing good. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. Yeah, well, but we're not gonna do any better but getting more stronger. Oh, yes, that's right. So, uh, I think there's uh, one of the Cavaliers we need to declare out. Okay, there we go. So, we defeat the Archer and their allies. That's already cleared. Okay, now what's going on here? The Brawler is retreating. So, let's go to the, uh, the Brawler to the uh, Outer Wall Stronghold. Um, okay, I think we got that. So, you know what? I want Shad to go and uh, guard me. Alright, so we'll, we'll barely get some protection from Shad right after this. Also, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Alright, so where is where is Shad's at now? So how about we go ahead and lend some support? Okay, so I'm going to have Shad come with me. So we'll go ahead and use the uh, Nosferatu. Alright, so we'll go ahead and talk down these enemies right there. And this one is about to get ready to go use Rage. So that's the, the one we need to avoid. So we're going to avoid all of this uh, Rage of Power and keep on fighting. And also I really think we should go break this pot because we'll, we'll get more money than more reward to experience. Okay, so the more the merrier, I mean we get to want to, to experience more of this gold. In case we come back, I mean we'll fit, we'll see what, what money that we increase our total. Alright, well we're gonna keep at it. Well we guys don't stood a chance over nothing. Because these guys were the easiest target to clear. Okay, so some guys did level up. Okay, so Shad's on level 21 now. Alright, so he's been catching up. Okay, so we got Shad's on level 21. And we're still waiting for Claude to level up. So, uh, let's see. Now, there is the archer with the bow. And it, it's sword. So, the best chance we have, if we're ever getting in trouble, then we go and guard. Okay, hold on. Well, I was going to go guard, but it was too soon. Okay, well, let's keep at it. Okay, so we got here another Cavalier coming. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, so we're the brawler now. So, it's, it's, it's still putting up some work. Okay, so the brawler is moving on. I hope I don't hold you back. And we're gonna save up one special just for just for one. Okay, Shaz, I do appreciate it. Thank you for backing me up. Okay, so we are getting close to to the stronghold, Captain Whisper. Uh, good alleys. 
Okay, so we did protect the via brawler, and I can't break this pot. Okay, so the stage is fully completed. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. I mean, that was gonna be a sweet and easy stage. So far, so good. So it seemed to me because uh, we have cleared the battle rank to rank A. Uh, okay, then. Okay, don't hold everything back. Just uh, keep your distance straight. Alright, so take a look at these two. So, Shaz and Marianne are the only character that level up. So, we're gonna just take it all. Let's just go and skip all of that. And here's our current goal. We got 14,842G. Alright, and we got them on C rank. Not bad. Alright, so we can go ahead and save this data for this overwrite. Alright, and we did increase uh, one of its activity points. Okay, I do believe the last one is, is about to come up. So you may now advance in the uh, Western uh, Regan territory. Nice. Alright then, so uh, let's see what's going on here. So it says that a bridge is secured by your army. Okay, so your army is securing the surrounding roads uh, and uh, amassing re resources. Okay, so we get here, it's 38 of the basic building materials and 15 of the apprentices are smith and set. Okay, next one. A group of our merchants that uh, was under attack by bandits, as you wipe out via the bandits and uh, rescue them. Uh-huh. As you save my life, feel free to, to, to take out uh, one of these uh, as fangs. Okay, so we can get the killer knuckles or the killer tome. You know what, I'm gonna get the, the one with the knuckles. Okay, so we got the killer knuckles plus four. So yeah, so we'll definitely be, be taking one of its uh, brawler. And let's see, now we can do the one for extra quest or the one that's called surveying spot. So we can still do the one that which is called the surveying spot, so let's get that one done. So there's a wandering mercenary though, who offered to, to teach you some techniques. How about it? Um, Verita, it took her up to the drawing out to your full strength, but you know. I'll teach her one of you how to do it. Okay, so how about you go teach it to Claude? See what happens. Okay, so it seems like, like a Claude's combat art raster have increased up by level 2. Not bad. Now, let's go ahead and do the last one for extra quest. So we have to go ahead and capture the thief and be done with this mission. Alright, so let's go and get that done. And we'll just go and start the fight. Let's earn our key. All right, and let's uh, let's have some fun with it. So it's just gonna be more about the Boy Scouts. So it's just gonna be Shad, Claude, Raphael, and Marianne. I hope I can be of some use. All right, now let's see what we got going on here. So don't let the courier and the bear alleys that we see a second the ballista station. Got it. Alright, so I'm going to have Raphael come and back me up with, uh, with some support. So I want you to come and guard me. And I want Marianne to move on. So I want you to go and take out... Actually, what can I let you do? So... Actually, how about you two go take out one of those Cavaliers? Okay, so I want Shad to get a move on. So he need to go and take out the um, the courier. I've got this. Right. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go and switch with Claude. Now I really think we should go and check in with one of the pots because one of the pots are uh, maybe filled with gold. So we need to go ahead and scatter the tour around here and just to collect more more materials on the ground. Well, at least for rare, I mean we can just uh, find one. What's up? What's up? Comes around, goes around. So there is a, a courier, which I just saw, and it's right on the Pegasus Knight. So we'll go take that thing out. Okay, so the courier is retreating to the uh, station, I see. Okay, so we're going to try out the smash. Okay, so that go ahead and build up more strength and potential. Okay, so it seems like that we got two more coming. So uh, what's going on here? So why the heck is it getting in the way? 
Actually, uh, Cloud, why don't you go all the way down there and take out the, uh, the next uh, car here while I go and switch characters. Like that's it for us. So I need to go and put a stop to this uh, car here. Okay, so you're, you're stopping right here, so you're not going anywhere. Okay, so we just uh, trapped this uh, car here just perfectly still. So we can go ahead and build more of these uh, fury strikes to just swipe out all of these enemies. And we got here is a bullion. Nice. Alright, so let's get move on. So we got it's an armor knife that we gotta go cleared. So let's just go ahead and use the one which, which is called Grounder. Alright, and we'll just go and keep at it. So it just felt like that, that we're creating some dark magic of our strikes of ours. Alright, and we're just uh, keeping it on the ground. Alright, well, let's keep at it. Let's take out the Armor Knight. Okay, so the Armor Knight got defeated. Nicely done. Alright, and we got new materials. Outstanding. Okay, so we got it's another here. It's another armor knife that uh, with uh, the chill and X. So we want that armor knight out of here. So let's go take it out with the rash strike of ours, and let's keep fighting. What's necessary? Okay, well I don't see Marianne is um is not going to die. So she's gonna she's going to live. I know it. Okay, so it seems like it seems like these two got everything under control. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out with Shad. So I'm gonna go ahead and lend some support. So I'm gonna go take out this uh, Cavalier with uh, by playing as Marianne. So we'll go ahead and do one of our spells with our Tomb Book of ours. Okay, so we're not letting these uh, carriers out of their sight. So let's get this cavalier out of he cavalier out here. With whichever magic we prefer on to, to go use, I mean, now is the time we we, we go and use it. Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. Did I meet your expectations? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now I'm seeing one of his uh, base captains that need to be cleared. Okay, so we'll clear that out of here and take out the Cavalier. Okay, so we have to defeat the Armor Knight and claim victory. Okay, now I already saw it already because uh, Shaz is uh, it's already at the top. Taking out two of those. Well, actually, there's only one Armor Knight. So, so the one... Oh, wait a minute. So there's another Armor Knight down there. Which is which made it a, a stronghold captain. Oh, actually, hold on a minute. So, how about Claude go ahead and clear this area? This. So, we'll need his support to go take out the Archer. So, we got everything under control. So, let's go ahead and break the, uh, the shield. Let's keep breaking the shield. Alright, keep going. Alright, let's go again. Alright, and now we can go ahead and and build up one of our, our acrobatics. Because somehow it's the, it's another this uh, mini special that we just go use because somehow it's it's felt like we just uh, took the uh, the advantage over control of of all of uh, Marianne's magic. So let's uh, go and strike with uh, one of our one of our magic in our in our arts. Okay, so the Cavalier is halfway done, so it's already got defeated. So we can pick up one of his uh, material that he left on the ground. So each enemy can go in and drop materials on the ground. Please. So Excuse me. let's see now. Is this okay? So I'll have a Marianne go do her her own while I go take out the, the Armor Knight. And actually, you know what? Before taking out the uh, Armor Knight, I want to go ahead and collect some money. 
I mean, that's the only way that we can fully experience over our unique uh, growth to the to get more the reward we need. All right, well, let's keep at it. Okay, so now we have a limited chance to go and take out the the armor knight. Okay, and I do believe that's about it. So that is how we go and finish to finish to kill the armor knight. All right, well let's keep at it. So it's halfway done, just a little bit more, and there we go. So the main mission is successfully complete. Hey, we won. Wish I could have got a few more hits in though. All right, and there we have it. So the stage is uh, finally completed. So we take a look. So we get here. It's a uh, one of its uh, rank B. All right, and we have increased on our MVP. Okay, well that's more we could take on. So let's go ahead and press with press A. I think it's making sense now. Okay, and Marianne learned the ability called kinship. Not bad, not bad. So we're just uh saving up a whole lot of experience over our unique potential just to go ahead and raise up more gold. And all of this, um, this new power up we're, we're going to learn for each character. I mean, we look forward to that. So there you have it, you guys. So that's uh, all of this um, this uh, base clear in this uh, war map. So next time on Fire Emblem Warrior Free Hopes, we'll go ahead and get a move on. So this is going to be the next story, which is going to come up uh, on the next uh, video. So next time, we'll go ahead and settle the, um, the conquest to take on via the Western Regan territory. So that will be coming up on next series, you guys. So you don't go anywhere. And you will be particular and stay tuned on the next video. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watch this episode. So if you're liking the series and want to see more of uh, Fire Emblem Warrior Free Hopes, be sure to leave an advertising like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you have uh, already subscribed to my channel, please do ring that notification bell so that you'll be still up to notify when my new and awesome videos up in your way. So just making sure you guys are staying tuned in and by all means, all the Easter one of the description are filled down below. So if you'd like to help support the series, you can do so. We read them step by step just to help get you on started on support my channel and front the series. So that's going to be all it for Fire Emblem Warrior Free Hope. We'll, we will be picking up more on the next one. So take care, you guys. I hope to talk to you on the next video.